Welcome back. Tagaytay is synonymous with the Ital Volcano, a volcano within a lake within a volcano. But among its many attractions is a hotel that serves comfort food and sets the tone for healthy eating. Caroline Howard makes us all jealous again as she takes us there. Set against the scenic Taal Volcano, Tagaytay City provides a perfect climate for abundant harvests and insatiable appetites. Hello everyone, we're here with Chef Babes Austria, Executive Chef of Taal Vista Hotel. Chef, what culinary tradition is the hotel known for and where is it headed? We landed here in Taal Vista as Mr. C would like to change this and uh, have this as a family getaway, uh, not only here but also abroad. Now, I think we have done that. They treat this hotel as their extension of their home. Now, the vision of the hotel is not to duplicate what is in Manila. People are coming here, you know, drive on our. So we created our own. Not uh, cannot be found in neighboring restaurant. Just how distinct or different is it? Tell us about some of the items on your menu. Whatever is the season produced in this area, that's the time I draw my menus. Mm -hmm. I pick everything that is really fresh and there's no recipe to talk about. The highlight, of course, is a menu that never been tasted in any other place except in Taal Vista, and we call it the landmark. This is only in Taal. Like tapa, okay? We know from corner to corner there are tapa, tapa everywhere. But mine, it has uh, coffee, barako, tapa. So you don't need to drink coffee at all. It's combined, okay? That's, uh, you know, the tenderness and the aroma of Cafe Barako is also from Batangas. So it's just a neighboring town from here that we, you know, integrate all the produce. Uh, we have the uh, Leche Plan pumpkin. So the pumpkin here is also something to look after because the taste is really different. It's more stickier, the flavor is, uh, flavor is more uh, aromatic than to compare to other uh, pumpkin. We have here the avocado cheesecake, which avocado is also local. And you see also the texture is different from the avocado in other region. And then we have this, the fish is really in abundance. I myself get crazy in the market because I don't know the names. We have here the Tawilis. Tawilis is only in Taal Lake. So Tawilis is, you know, something that we treasure. Aside from that is the Maliputo. Maliputo is gold, okay? You cannot just uh, buy it anywhere. Tonight in the uh, Buddha fight, we will have Sagisi fish. And then they have the Muang different name uh, and you, you will have these other uh, crabs of which is, they call it stone uh, crablets and so fantastic because these are not available in any place in Manila or even in the region. So this is just in the nearby uh, shore of Batangas. Chef, fresh ingredients certainly a staple here in Tagaytay City. How are you pushing healthy cuisine? Oh, my first uh, stay here is to look for a piece of land here inside the Taal Vista to plant my own organic uh, herbs. I would love to see my chefs in the basket with the scissor and going to the garden so we don't throw the seeds. We plant it and then I have here the rosemary, the tarragon, the mint. All herbs are fantastic. Uh, tomatoes. You're launching the Junior Chef Cup Challenge. What's the idea behind it? I believe as a chef, we have a social obligation and the hotel as well. So this is a healthy competition. This is not just a one-stand event. It's gonna be a one step to a long process. We are molding young people to become professional as early as that, as we guide them, honing their skills. The Junior Chef's Cup Challenge, slated for the weekends of September, aims to encourage healthy eating by teaching kids the basics of cooking. In order for them to go to the traditional way, we have to come up with this Junior Chef's Cup Challenge. The thing is we want them uh, to stop ordering convenience foods because it's causing a lot of sickness for kids. So if you go traditional, then you will do away with all a lot of chemicals. Part of the proceeds of the contest will go to Project Brave Kids to help you know, the kids with cancer now, the, for them to have all this cure. 
Chef, you've got quite the background yourself. Tell us about your culinary history. You went to CCA, you went to school overseas, and then Malacanang. So what was that experience like? My uh, objective, being executive chef of the palace, which represents our country, is to push our Philippine cuisine. So every time we have a state visit, it's definitely Filipino. Plated the way standard of world class. But the main ingredient is Pinoy. Chef Babes introduces us to two Maliputo dishes, a sinigang sa Misu Tagalog and a pan-seared stuffed Maliputo. This is the Maliputo, uh, famous in uh, Tagaytay, uh, in Batangas. Uh, as a shore is coming in. Uh, this is a uh, type of talakito. Uh, if it is in the sea water, now it comes in in the lake and then it becomes maliputo. You will see the difference, it's elongated. The eyes is not as sharp as the talakito. What I'm going to do now is a dish uh, which I name is uh, sinigang, maliputo sinigang sa misu Tagalog, homemade. The ingredients are the usual uh, sinigang, which is the kangkong. You have the talong, uh, radish, uh, this is uh, okra, and then you have this uh, sitaw and this sinigang uh, sili. So, ang kamatis kailangan hinog na hinog kasi siya ang magdadala ng color for the soup. Put the cooking oil. And then tomatoes. Then you have the onion. You have the radish. Lapanos. That's the okra. And then we bring down the miso tagalog, which is flavored with the uh, calamansi. Lots. This is calamansi, which uh, ito yung pampaasim natin. And then we have to season this maliputo. We put the slit. We put the slit so that the flavors come in inside. The seasoning of the pampaasi. This is uh, sour tamarind. And then we bring down the sitaw, the eggplant. The chili cigan. In cooking, we call this miripua. Okay? You just don't boil and then dump all the vegetables. You have to sweat all the vegetables so that the caramelization will go in. And then we bring down the fish without the stock so that the flavor also will go inside the fish. And then we add the stock. This is vegetable stock. We let that boil, just one boil, and that's enough. And then you put the kangkong when we plate, finish. We plate this one, maliputu is done. And then, kangkong. Chef Babes then prepares a pan-seared maliputu. So you put the slit uh, to put everything. And here's the onion. Goes in. Little pepper salt and then you put the sampalok florets sampalok is a little uh, sour but this is uh, milder than the sampalok uh, fruit and then you have to massage a little that's the secret of the chef okay with loving tender care okay and this is ready to go so you hear the sizzle and that's the right temperature we're looking for this is the pan-seared maliputo, stuffed with uh, some palak florets and topped with uh, cilantro leaves and uh, garnished with onion leaves. Here's our maliputo sinigang sa misu Tagalog. Let's try this. I can imagine really tender and moist fish meat. True enough. It's really satisfying. And although it's good enough, taken alone, there's always the tagitay patis, which is slightly finer than the ordinary patis. And it goes well with it too. I'm 
not going to leave without trying this pan-seared maliputo with the sampalo florets. Packed with goodness, more so with the toyo mansi dipping sauce on the side. Judging from Tagaytay's fresh produce, there's no question of the city's place in the country's culinary scene. The maliputo fish here in Tagaytay is quite a revelation and it is delectable and enjoyable and worth coming back for. That will do it for this edition of Taste Buds. I'm Caroline Howard. Remember, life's a trade. Till next time.